Hello everyone. So by now you should know how to fill your plastic palette with tube paints. So in this video we're going to work on how to mix these colors in our plastic palette. So there's a whole different variety of types of them. I've tried out a few for different purposes, but in this video we'll just be doing this regular plastic travel palette and I have taken my brush full of water and I have dissolved a little bit of lemon yellow and I'll be putting it right here. All I do is I press out the pigment that I've dissolved with water onto one surface of the palette. Now you are going to see me wash my brush out a ton in this video and that will remind you that you really need to wash your brush out very well in between colors. So I've taken a little bit of phthalo blue and added that to my lemon yellow. And then I've added just a bit more. So you can see that phthalo blue is pretty staining. And this is why you need to wash your brush well in between and test on a white or a paper towel that is going to show you if there's any pigment left in your brush. Okay, I'm going back into my lemon yellow and adding a little bit more yellow to that mixture to get it to be a little more green. And I think this is the color that I needed, so I laid a few strokes of that. I'm drawing the begonia plant on my windowsill. And now I've gone into my darker cadmium yellow and I've done the same thing. I pushed that out onto a different part of my palette and I'm washing in between every color change. So I've gone into my ultramarine blue there. And you can see this makes a pretty different kind of green. It's like an olivey sort of sap green color. And as I swatch it out here for you, you can see what that becomes. And now I'm adding two brushfuls of water to show you how just adding water will change the value. That's the lightness of the color. And then I've added a third brush full. And so that's how you can get your lighter greens. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the cadmium again. And this time I'm gonna add Payne's Gray, which is a mixed gray with several colors in it. So it gives me this nice olive color. And color is all about ratios. So if I were to add more cadmium yellow in this, it would be a yellower green. If I were to add more Payne's gray, it would become a darker green color. Okay, back into my lemon yellow. But this time I wanna see how Viridian mixes with this right after I change my water. Another friendly reminder here, keep your brushes very clean. So I'm going into Viridian, mixing it with that lemon yellow, and it's a bit of a brighter sort of seafoam green. And the thing you need to know about pigments is that the names of my pigments could be the same names as your pigments, but between company and company and brand to brand, they could actually be different pigments. So if you really want to know the pigment, look at the pigment number. And sometimes you'll find something with one pigment number is the same as something else with a different paint name, but the pigment number is the same. So I'm washing my brush out. I used Thalo. Thalo is a little bit more staining. And now I'm just adding an extra brushful, two extra brushfuls. And then I wanna show you how it changed the value of this blue green that I made. So it's quite a bit lighter in value. Using a cold press paper will really help with that because that type of paper has sizing in it and it takes on more water a lot better, allowing you to get good even washes without paper buckling with those lighter values. 
always clean your palette after every session. You will thank yourself the next time you open up your palette to do a drawing. You don't want to use stuff that's left over because you really don't remember what all you mixed into that. So if you want clear, crisp colors that you know exactly what's in it, wash your palette out and you're really not wasting that much paint, you guys. These paints will last you a long time. You'll be so surprised. Now I want you to let it dry and when it's dry, you can close it up and store it. And as you start mixing on your palette, I want you to remember that these tube paints will last you a long time. So do all the mixing practice that you can. Look at something around your home, around your garden, around the nature areas around you. Look at something that you really enjoy the color of and study it while you're there looking at it. And then later when you go home or when you're in front of your sketchbook or your watercolor palette, I want you to try to mix that color from memory. See if you can get it just right. All right, I will see you in the next lesson.